leg spin bowling. There's a lot of mysteries and a lot of different things being talked about leg spin bowling. Today, I'm going to show you five different deliveries. The first one being the most important, which is the leg break. This test match. Bowled him from around the wicket. The most important thing when you're bowling leg spin and the leg break delivery is your grip. The grip must be two fingers down and two fingers up, and the ball just slots in there like that. The leg spinner will spin from right to left on the pitch, and you will spin the ball using your third finger, like so. Nice, comfortable grip, but it's to spin the ball, we want to use this third finger that spins the ball and it's spun from right to left which is the best delivery to bowl right to left the back of your hand will be facing yourself which is important to get the biggest spin on the delivery Out there. That's close, he's got him, yes! That's a pretty good decision. That would be the top spinner. Come on, Jimmy Adams. Not happy, but that looked to me to be very, very close. The second delivery is the top spinner, or sometimes called the over spinner. It's delivered with exactly the same grip, comfortable with the part. Mine's probably a little bit too close, but that's just what works for me. Whatever works for you. Sometimes a wider grip is okay as well. But what you do, instead of spinning the ball with your third finger, spinning it from right to left, the ball will go straight on and bounce. So it's important when you're bowling this delivery, so instead of, we said, as the back of your hand faces yourself, the back of the hand now will face the batsman. So the ball will come over straight over like that. And it's all important. The follow through, everything is important on this spinner. You want to go straight over like that. And the ball, it won't spin, it will go straight on. And sometimes the batsman will pick this as a wrong one or a leg spinner and they're not quite sure. And this is when it brings bat pads into play, bowls. Yes! Oh! Okay, the wrong one. This can be a very uh, deceiving delivery. If the batsman's not reading and watching the hand, uh, then he can not be sure which way the ball is going. So this can be a very good delivery. It's delivered with the same grip, two fingers up, two fingers down. It's a little bit wider fingers here, not too much, whatever feels comfortable. As we saw the top spinner go straight over, the wrong one, it's released from the back of the hand, like so. So we said the leg spinner, back of the hand facing me, top spinner, straight facing the batsman. The wrong one, it's most important you watch the seam. When you bowl a ball, the back of the hand is facing fine leg, and the seam, it shows you which way the ball's going to spin. So when it is released, it's released the same, but it's released more out the back of the hand. So it comes out like that. So you're still using your third finger, but it's coming out the back of your hand, like that, and you can see the seam going down towards fine leg. Some of the batsmen that don't watch the hand they're not sure which way it's going to go and a lot of the guys play for the leg break and it bowls them between the gate, bat and pad or they go back to try and cut you and you can get bowled, chopped on or a big bat pad chance from the ball spinning back into the batsman as you can see. The back of my hand facing fine leg and the seam shows you which way the ball's spinning.
The flip has been a, a great delivery of mine over a long period of time. Uh, it can be a very rewarding delivery, but it's quite a tough delivery to bowl. I think it's most important that you get the leg spinner, the top spinner, and the wrong and first, and then you can slowly develop the flipper. The flipper is delivered with exactly the same grip, but your thumb comes into play here. You don't use your thumb on any of the other deliveries, but you use your thumb on this one. This one is squeezed out and comes underneath like that. And the best way to practice this delivery is to click your fingers, you put the ball in there, and then you just click your fingers. Don't try and do anything else, bar click the fingers. Just click your fingers. The ball is released under the hand, like that, rather than out the back of the hand. And then all you do is click your fingers. And you'll see it come out like that. So as we can see, it's coming out from underneath, rather than out the back like that for a leggy. It comes out the bottom of the hand like that for the flipper. It'll be a lot flatter in trajectory, and it will skid off the ball because it's got backspin on it. It'll skid low and hopefully get the batsman bowled or LBW. The fan close. Got in. Yes, beautifully bowled. You can see it out of the fingers, Johnny Rose wasn't quick enough to get down. Superb bowling by Shane Warren. The flipper is a lethal weapon here for Sydney Cricket Ground. Now that's close. That's the slider. Yep. Now the slider is something I've developed over the last 12 or 18 months with a lot of help from Terry Jenner, who used to bowl it a fair bit. It's delivered like the leg spinner. The leg spinner is spun like that, as we've talked about, with the seam going from right to left, spinning the ball. Now all we do with the slider is we go a little bit further round and we come right round the ball like that. We're delivered with the palm of our hand facing the batsman and the ball comes out like that. It's delivered like that and it'll slide straight on rather than the leg break like that. The slider is delivered like that and it will come down like that. The way to bowl it, it's exactly the same grip, it's exactly the same, and we bowl our leg break like that. The slider, it's just a bit further wrist position, so the palm faces the batsman, and it goes straight through like that. This ball will slide on, and hopefully the batsman thinks it's a leg break, it should slide on, it's good delivery for LBWs and bowl. Well, there you have it. There's uh, five of my deliveries that I like to bowl, which uh, hopefully can confuse batsmen. You guys out there, the best way to practice is exactly that, practice. That's the best way to learn, but practice properly. As we've talked about the grips, but you've got to make sure that you bowl with a nice high arm, not too high, but making sure we follow through and getting all the basics right. Leg spin can be great fun, and you can come up with your own mystery ball if you keep practicing in the nets right. You can change the grips. All these different deliveries can be bowled wide of the crease, in close to the stumps, in all different areas on the crease. If you keep doing those sorts of things, you'll find that the ball does different things. And your best weapon is natural variation off the wicket. That can be the best mystery ball you've ever had, is natural variation. So keep practicing, good luck with it all, and um, I'm looking forward to your feedback. <laughs>